All right, Big yeah. Keish. Um, I'm going to read off the list of uh, Stinkface recipients because it's a pretty much a who's who of wrestling. And I know there's not everybody here, but uh, damn it, this, le- this list is impressive. And I, and I want you, maybe your greatest, your greatest recipient of the Stinkface isn't on my list, but just listen up. This is uh, what I got so far. Uh, you have stink faced uh, Stephanie McMahon, Eric Bischoff, check check, Matt Hardy, check Lita, check Eddie and Chavo Guerrero, check at the check. same time, check check Kurt Angle, check Road Dog Jesse James, check one of my all time favorites, Mister Perfect, check <sighs> Vince McMahon, <laughs> Vince McMahon, your boss, check your boss, double check, uh, Paul Heyman, check Booker T, check. <laughs> <laughs> I was probably the only stink face anybody threw up at. Who do you think sold the stink face the best? Oh, well, this is a no-brainer for me. I'd have to say uh, Mr. Perfect. Because with the towel? With the towel. So here's the thing. Like, Mm. you know, everybody sells a stink face, but it's how they sell it to make theirs unique. Right? So Booker, boom, sells the stink face, throws up. (laughs) That's going on highlights, all right? Of course, you know, the boss's mm-hmm. stink face is going on highlights. Of course, Stephanie McMahon, the boss's daughter, that goes on highlights. Mm-hmm. But in the earlier time, the the birth of the stink face, after, you know, working with boss man, then I was married to Kurt Henning, Mr. Perfect, in my book, mm-hmm. is one of the best workers in the industry uh, you talk about he can go both ways at a baby face as a heel for for me he's more you know at his best as a heel and you talk about how this guy can really put a person over oh uh, you see like every bump that he takes he, he he always add his extra athletic ability to it doesn't have to but just because he's Taking that that move from a baby face or a heel, right. he makes it more than what it is, and that's due to his professionalism. Mm-hmm. That's due to his athletic ability, mm-hmm. and it has to do with something as far as just being a friend. He understood the assignment. Yeah, he understood, and when he he uh, you know when I give him a stink face and he <laughs> rammed that damn. Uh, Towel and <laughs> the only thing I was concerned about was, I mean, there better not be no skid marks on there. <laughs> it's you know? a white towel. It's a white freaking <laughs> towel. And so that happened out there in uh, in Australia. And uh, yeah, Kurt, Kurt really put over the stink face oh, every man, time. We love Mr. Perfect. I do. He so never much. complained about it too. Really? Yeah, he never complained. I mean, he was always like he was one of the guys that he could have been in the BSK because he okay. he was loved by everybody, man. But yeah. <sighs> I'd have to say the number one, I'd say. Mm-hmm. You know, I'd have to say, the Kurt, uh, you know. He uh, sold Kurt it Henning. the best? I would say he sold it the best. Wow. Then then in the Booker T. Okay. You I know, mean, Vince McMahon. Up. Of course, okay. we've seen his facial. Yeah, of course. We've seen Stephanie's facial. So uh, it's really hard. It's a hard list to, to narrow down because every single person, you know, I didn't know if they were selling or not because when you look mad after you take the stink face, uh-huh. that's the reaction you're supposed to look like, right? So they could have been really mad, but I didn't know it. And those that really just, you know, start wiping their nose, they, uh, blah, blah, blah. Hey, who knows? I, I could have cut one that time, man. <laughs> I, I got two more questions for you, Big Keish, before we um, send, uh, send you off for the night. Um, were you ever the recipient of the stink face yourself? Because I saw Chavo, he had he had almost gotten the stink face on you. Yeah. Was there ever a point in your? Uh, I think Pat Patterson gave me one. Really? Remember when he had the Fruit of Loom's white underwear and he, with he, he, skid marks skid, on yeah. there? Go figure, right? I, wow. I don't, I don't, I don't remember anybody. Who, uh, man, I, I really can't remember who, but I just remember that with Pat Patterson okay. had, had you know freaking. Uh, Fruit of Loom underwears on <laughs> the white skid one. Skid marks. And it had the skid marks on it. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. but I'm sure there were other, you know, females. Uh, okay. Whatever that, you know. Took Would that be called uh, the sweet face? Uh, 
Powder fresh, I guess. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know, but I, I listen here. For the record, you know, they called it the stink face. And, you know, the one thing you didn't ask is who came up with uh, as far as calling the stink face the mm -hmm. stink face. Mm -hmm. So I got to go on record and I got to put it out there. You can see this on Raw, on the YouTube or whatever. But I got to give the big shout out to... My man out there, Chris Jericho. He coined the phrase stink yeah. face? So, you know, you remember when Y2J? he used to open oh, up man. Y2J was Raw is Jericho. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I was working with Chris, you know, on on Raw. And during his promo, he, he mentioned the stink face. And that's that's what I went with. You know, because it just so fit. Stuff. You know, it just fit. Yeah. So it worked as a heel. It worked even better as a baby face because... Mm -hmm. The people uh, that the fans that when they didn't like a wrestler, mm -hmm. well, they they were hoping that my ass was stinky <laughs> to be able to give somebody right, a stink right, face, right, right. you know, one of the villains or the heels that they didn't like. So, so yeah, so big shout out to Chris Jericho. To Chris Jericho wow, for, that that's some insight. He came up right with there. the name. Uh, okay, of, uh, all right. You know, so the stinky face. I like to change it, boy. The stanky face. Stanky face. Let's put some stank on it. Some actual stank on it. But it really don't smell like stanky, though. I don't I'm, think so. I'm powder fresh. Yeah, man. you're like roses. You know me. I, I always smell well, good. Well, you man. know, um, I could say yeah. that I joined, uh, I can say from experience. Oh, okay. Um, I've uh, taken the stink face twice, at least in my life. And I can say, I can vouch. Yeah, yeah, yeah it smells fresh. like roses. Yeah, for sure. One of the powder fresh. That's because I like you. Yeah, yeah thank yeah. you. I'm glad I didn't get the I third like uh, uh, the, uh, pair the, of trunks. The third thong. The third thong. I did not thong. get that. <laughs> People don't know what trunks are. But I got to yeah. tell you, your life does flash before your eyes when right? you're looking up and you see that. You know, go, go figure, that man. That derriere. All, the, all these years, man, I've been looking for my money maker, and it's and right, right behind there behind you. you. Right behind me, man. Tisha was twerking and just dropping bombs and busting the move. In more ways than one. In more ways than one, you're All dropping ways, bombs. So, and lesson learned, believe in yourself. Yes, sir. Don't let people tell you what you can and cannot do. And you know, don't judge a book by its cover. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? You, you you see it and you hear it coming a mile away. And by the time it gets you coming <laughs> a mile away, you better learn how to adapt mm -hmm. and smarten up. Yes, sir. So I, um, we're going to end uh, with two more questions. Uh, Big Quiche, who would you consider your greatest recipient of the stink face? My greatest? Yes, sir. The Rock. The Rock. Wow, yeah. You're gonna, I got to I got to go with the great yeah, one. If you're gonna give yeah, the stink face, you one. give it to the goat. Yeah, go with the goat, man. Okay, um, you know, so there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The greatest recipient of the stink face is the Rock, mm -hmm. who is uh, one of the members of the bloodline. Do you think you would ever give it to him again? Well, you know, as we always say in this business, mm -hmm. never say never, and I'll leave it at that.